So everyone, my name is Luke, this is the Outdoor Gear Review, and it is time to review the number one best-selling backpacking tent on Amazon. This is the Alps Mountaineering Lynx one-person tent. To be honest, this is actually the second best-selling backpacking tent. The first one is this pop-up tent that's actually not for backpacking. So with that being said, this is the number one best-selling backpacking tent. Now this is a product that I have been testing out for numerous months now. I've done a setup video to show you all how easy it is to set it up. I've also done a test night video in the rain and I've continued to test this out for numerous months. So in this video, I will go over the tent, we'll move to my review, and from there you can make up your own mind if this is a product for you. With that being said, let's get started. First off, when it comes to the pack size, you were looking at roughly six inches in diameter by 17 and a half inches long. And when it comes to the component breakdown, it looks like this. You get the storage bag. You receive 10 tent stakes, numerous guy lines, and some repair material. Then you have the tent body, the fly, and the poles. When it comes to weight, you were looking at four pounds, three ounces with all the stakes, guy lines, components, bags, and so on. If you wanna leave some of those components behind, you can get this weight down below four pounds. This tent is available in two colors, the clay rust, which you see here, and also there's a brand new blue green version. At the time of filming on Amazon, the blue green version is $115. The clay and rust color is $55. I personally paid $79 for this tent. There are numerous sizes of this tent out there. This is the one person. There's a two, three, and four person. This tent is of a freestanding design, but in truth, it is not a freestanding tent. We will come back to that in just one moment. There's one door, one vestibule. It is two feet, eight inches wide. It is seven feet, six inches long, and it has a center height of 36 inches. When it comes to the materials, you are looking at a 75D 185T polyester fly, and the floor material is a 75D 185T poly taffeta. It is seam sealed on the floor and also on the fly. This tent does include a gear loft. It has mesh pockets and it has aluminum poles. So with the tent being set up now, let's jump to the review. Now, this in my opinion is an oddity for numerous reasons. First off, this is the probably the highest requested, most requested product here on the channel. I've received hundreds of requests to review this tent. That is why I'm reviewing it. I purchased this with my own money. I am agenda free. I'm simply passing on my opinion. You do not have to buy this. I don't get any sort of kickbacks, no store, nothing like that. Here with the channel, honest reviews. I talk about the good, I talk about the bad, and I have no problem stating the bad. Now, going back to this being an oddity, it really is. In my opinion, for me, this is a very confusing tent. Alps Mountaineering describes this as a three season tent that's good for the warmer conditions. They state that it's well ventilated, has excellent airflow, and so on. Because of the design of this tent, I do not agree with those comments from Alps Mountaineering. This, in my opinion, is more of a three plus season tent instead of a three season tent. And there is a difference between the two, of course, you can use a three plus season tent in the warmer months, but it really is designed more to be used at the end of the third season, going into the winter time, the fourth season. I state that because of the design decisions that Alps Mountaineering has made. This material here really does go hand in hand with a four season, three plus season tent. This polyester material acts as a double wall, as a second wall, which traps in and holds in more heat. It also blocks air. This tent has very little mesh when compared to your average three season tent. And because of the lack of mesh, this thing is very, very hot. In the summertime, I have to be honest, this has given me some of the hottest, most uncomfortable nights that I've had in a long time. Because this material is blocking airflow, blocking the wind, it really does take a good gust to come through this mesh. When you're laying down, check this out. The material's so high, you don't even feel the air coming in over your body. When you are in warm locations and it's humid, it can be a rough night. It really can be. You will strip down. There's no doubt about that. Because of that, when it comes to a three season tent, I would say skip this one. It's interesting because Alps Mountaineering has three season tents that have mesh all the way around. But the majority of their tents feature this design right here with the polyester walls. Because of that, three plus season, absolutely. Three season, no. If you take a look at the Alps Mountaineering website, they go on to state, what's especially nice about the Lynx tent is that the walls are mostly mesh, which helps increase ventilation. 
I have no idea what they are talking about because I think when you look at it from a percentage standpoint, it's more polyester than mesh. I have to wonder, is mesh more expensive than the polyester material? Is that why they use more of it? I don't know. I have no idea. With that being said, let's go to the pros and cons right now. Starting with price. For 55 bucks, for 80 bucks, whatever low price that you find this for, this tent, in my opinion, is worth it. As long as you're going to use it in the right situation. The value here for the money is excellent. It really is. The quality is very good. All the stitching is good. The seam sealing is good. The zippers so far have worked very well. I've had no issues. When it comes to being waterproof, again, I've had no issues. When it comes to the setup, very, very simple. You can set this thing up in no time. Once you know exactly what you're doing, you can set this up in less than five minutes, just like that. When it comes to the color, it's honestly not that bad. I do not mind the clay rust color. It's not OD green, it's not coyote brown, but it's not offensive to my taste by any means. I have to say that I do not like the green and blue version, which they just released. It doesn't look very good, in my opinion. Now let's move on to the cons here, because some of these cons can actually be pros depending on when you're using this tent. First off, the fly goes all the way to the ground, basically all the way around this tent. If you're blocking wind, if you're trying to hold in some more heat, that's a good thing. In the summertime, if you're trying to allow air in, it's a bad thing. So depending upon your use, that could be a pro or con. If you are 6'4 and under, I think this tent is going to work very well for you. If you're taller, wider, you may want to try this tent out first to see if it works for you. I'm not a tall guy. That means this works perfectly. But I do have broad shoulders, I'm fairly muscular, and this thing is tight. It is very, very tight. So both of my shoulders touch the walls when I'm sitting up. For a small one-person tent, that's not bad. At least I can sit up. I can turn sideways, change clothes. When I lay down, I have plenty of room here. Because I'm short, I even have room for gear. With the vestibule, you do have plenty of room for shoes, tripod, gear, whatever you wanna stick on the outside, there is room for. The included gear caddy is awesome. I'm glad they include this. It really does show you, with more expensive tent companies who wanna charge you an additional fee for that, what a jip, because you know that it costs almost nothing to make those things. And some of these companies wanna charge you as much as $20 for a gear caddy, that's ridiculous. Now, while the size of this tent is good for most people, it has to be mentioned that this thing is super tall. This tent is incredibly tall, and because of that, it truly is not a freestanding tent because you will want to stake this thing out. In even the mildest of breezes, of wind gusts, this tent will rock back and forth. I've had this out in a thunderstorm, summertime thunderstorm, fairly good winds, and this thing was pulling the stakes out of the ground. Without those stakes, I would have been in a lot of trouble, especially if I wasn't inside of that tent, weighing it down. Another slight issue that I have with this tent are the Velcro straps which attach the fly to the poles. There's two over here, two on the other side. They're not very good. They are way too long and they give the fly too much range of motion to move around in strong winds. They really do need to be much smaller and hold the fly tighter to the pole to prevent it from moving around. When you have things shifting, that's when you have issues develop, such as breakages and the separation of seams. So those straps really do need to be much shorter and pull the fly closer to the pole. Now here's another pro-con, depending on how you're looking at it. This tent being over four pounds is not very lightweight. In fact, for a one-person tent, it's heavy. Now the pro side is that it's actually very tall, so you can change clothes in it. That's a pro. So it's one of those things that really depends on what you're looking for with your tent whether or not that's a pro or a con, if it's heavy or if it is justified. Now, personally, I like the nature of the taller tent, but my personal preference would be for a tent that's not quite as tall as this, so it's not quite as susceptible to wind, and it would be a little bit lighter because over four pounds for a one-person tent is a little bit heavy. I've seen plenty of reviews where people mention how lightweight this tent is, and, I mean, not really. It really isn't all that lightweight. You may be accustomed to carrying around a 20 pound tent. And if that's the case, then this is like the ultimate lightweight budget friendly tent for you. For the average backpacker though, this is a little bit heavy. So when it comes to an additional con for this tent, guy lines. It comes with four, but in truth, you need five. Two for the front, two for the back, that's four, and one on the other side 
for the back side of the tent. Because of the design of this tent, the fly is going to be pulled either towards the front or towards the back when it comes to staking it out. Now, it doesn't make sense to have guy lines for the vestibule, right? So you use stakes there, it pulls up the backside, and you will have to use a guy line back there to stake it out, to pull it away from the body. So this tent really does need five guy lines. Because of the limited ventilation and airflow with this tent, condensation can be an issue. Of course, it really is weather dependent. I mean, how sealed up do you have this thing? How wet, how humid is it outside? and so on. By no means is this a condensation machine, but some condensation can form on the inside of the fly. Of course, it has to be mentioned once again, this tent can be extremely hot and stuffy, depending on the season. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let's summarize my review. Do I recommend this tent? Yes, I do, but there is one caveat. It has to be used at the right place and the right time. For the summer months, I do not recommend this tent. It is simply way too hot, way too stuffy. There's not enough mesh. I'm lucky. I live here in the mountains where the nights are cool no matter what. And with that being the case, I'm still hot and stuffy inside of this tent. If you lived in a warmer environment, you would suffer in this tent. It simply holds in too much heat. It blocks too much airflow. Three plus season, absolutely. If you live in an area where the winters aren't very bad, you can easily use this in the four season. If they're calling for strong winds, I would not use this tent. It's just too tall. I mean, that wind will plow right into it and it just pulls those stakes up. But for wintertime use, where you're not worried about strong winds, this tent would do good. It really would. It would also do a good job with snow. By the way, if you're interested in an inexpensive, budget-friendly summertime tent that has lots of mesh and you want a product from Alps Mountaineering, check out the Zephyr tent. Very good lots of mesh. Well, everyone, that pretty much wraps up my review of the Alps Mountaineering Lynx one-person tent. This tent does an awesome job of showing you what you can get on a budget. With that being said, everyone, that is my review. I'm sticking to it. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. If you have this tent, what do you think about it? Do you agree with my assessment of this tent? I've been testing this out for multiple months, and again, I am impressed by Alps Mountaineering's quality. I mean, for the money, at the time of filming at least, you could pick this up for $55, and that is absolutely incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Of course, for it to be incredible, it has to work with you and the conditions that you're camping in. So make sure to consider the materials, the way that it's designed, and so on, before you go out and purchase this tent. Again, the Outdoor Gear Review is 100% agenda free. No store, no affiliates. I don't care if you buy this. I purchased this tent with my own money to give you all a real review. I'm not asking for you guys to buy this. I'm not asking you all to click on a link or anything like that to support the channel. 100% agenda free, honest, that's the only way to be. If you want to support the channel through Patreon, I do appreciate it. Make sure to hit the like button. Until next time, strength and honor, bye.